Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you a bunch of intro templates that I made in HitFilm 4 Express. So these are free, I just created them for this video and you can go ahead and download them at the link in the description below. So the very first step is obviously for you to download them. Once you click on the link in the description, you should come to a page like this. Just go ahead and click download and it should start downloading it for you. Now it is a zip file. A zip file is a compressed archive file and this means that it's multiple files combined into a single file for you to download. Now if you don't have WinZip or any other method for zipping uh, or unzipping things, then you can download WinZip for PC or for Mac if you have troubles uh, unzipping stuff for Mac. But if you've got a way to unzip this file uh, and you've downloaded it, then you should be all good. So right now I'm just going to show you these intros so that you can judge these intros yourself rather than just having to download them and stuff as well. So let's just go on with the first intro. Uh, the first intro is you know, it's kind of basic. Um, not my favorite intro, probably my least favorite intro out of all of these. Uh, but uh, let's just have a look at the first intro. So yeah, that's pretty basic intro. Uh, now onto the next intro that I created. Uh, it's a lot more complicated, uh, takes a little more time to render, and it's probably my favorite intro out of all of these five intros. So let's go ahead and have a look at this one. The third intro is uh, also pretty snazzy, it uh, makes use of a lot of colourful things and it's quite a pleasing intro uh, to look at, so here's the third intro. The fourth intro uh, takes a lot of rendering time because it uses one of HitFilm's inbuilt 3D effects, so if you do want to use this intro then make sure that you've got 15-20 minutes to spare just to render out this intro once you've edited it and changed up your text a bit. But here is the fourth intro. And finally we have the fifth intro which I have two variations of. First of all there's this, uh, this version which you'll see here. Now you'll notice that I actually blurred the background out a bit as well because uh, it's all transparent. Now there's also a second version of the intro uh, with a vortex displacement which I'll show you how to come across uh, and how to do uh, when you're in HitFilm. But this is the second version of that final intro. So now that you know what the intros are, let's get into creating the intro. So go ahead and click on this file to open it. Um, it should be unzipping it for you. And then you should have this folder here uh, with all your intro templates in it. So just open that up and you should notice a whole bunch of things. Uh, just a whole bunch of assets as well as the actual HitFilm project. So just go ahead and open up this HitFilm project and I'll see you in HitFilm. So we're here in HitFilm 4 Express now, once you've opened that project, you should come up with this window which says Relink Files. The reason for this is that I've got all the music tracks uh, in these intro files, as well as some assets which I've used for intros 1 and 3. So you're going to have to relink these, because these were obviously um, on my uh, drive, but if you want to use them, you can relink them to the Downloads folder which you just downloaded. So just double click on any of these files. In fact, uh, just go ahead and scroll up to where it says, uh, where well, you can see what it is. So I'm just going to select this limitless track, just double click on it. Um, and then you can navigate to exactly where you want to be. So I'm just going to go to my downloads. I'm just going to open up that folder. And I'm just going to select my Electronomia, however you pronounce that, uh, limitless. Uh, I'm just going to hit open and it should automatically relink everything because it's all in the same folder and it'll just take a while to load everything up and after that you should be all good. 
So while it's loading, I'm just going to go ahead and explain a couple of things. So the first thing we're going to show you guys is how to do the basic customization, which is essentially just changing the text so it says what you want it to say. Then I'm going to go over the export settings you need because they all have transparency in them. So you need to export them in a certain file type in order to get that transparency in there. And then I'm just going to go through more advanced customization, um, actually changing the visuals, changing the style, all that sort of thing, and go into a bit of detail about how I created these intros myself. The very first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go into intro one. Now this is the really basic one, um, and you should be, now that everything's relinked, you should be able to just play it back normally. Uh, it plays back pretty well. Uh, let me just bump my resolu resolution up to full so you guys can see better. And the audio should play back well uh, as well. But uh, mine's in my headphones, so you guys probably can't hear that. Now, to change the text, it's very simple. In this one, I've only got one text layer. You just need to go ahead and grab this uh, text tool right here. Go ahead and highlight all of that text and literally just type in every anything that you want. And there you've got your new intro. Um, and it just says uh, the new text. Uh, there's not really much that goes into it. Of course, there is this mask here, which you'll be able to see uh, in, in effect here. But that's pretty much all there is. You just need to go ahead and change the text. You can also go ahead and uh, if it's too big, if you've got lots of stuff, you can go ahead um, and uh, change the size, for example. So just select it and go into your text panel, which might be in a different space for you. But go ahead and into your text panel. Um, and then you can change your font, which I just left at default so that you guys can change the font yourself. But make sure you change the font to something uh, that really suits your channel. Um, and you can go ahead and change the size, um, as well as the line spacing here, the vertical line spacing, uh, which I've used to center it uh, into the center of the frame. Um, and also you can change the, uh, the spacing, uh, the horizontal spacing. Now here in the second intro, uh, this one's also just as simple. Uh, yes, it does shake around quite a bit, uh, but that's fine as well. So I'm just going to change that back into full. I'm just going to go into the frame where somewhere at the beginning, it's like this, like this, sorry. Uh, just go ahead and select the text and change it again to whatever you want. So you can see that the text should change now. Just go ahead and save this. Uh, and we can see that it'll say Jacksepticeye now. And so that's pretty much all there is to it. I don't know if I actually spelled that right. But moving on to the next intro, uh, this one's a little bit uh, different because there are multiple text files because they say different things. So this one says video editing, and then it goes on to technology, filmmaking, uh, and then finally the channel name in a bunch of different colors. All you have to do is select the text you want. I didn't really name these uh, too well, but first text, you can just stick on the first text, second text as well. Uh, just again go into your text tool now what I've done with these ones is I've changed the spacing the horizontal spacing uh, to be 30 uh, for all of these mini ones and I've changed the size to be smaller and then the final one I've changed the size to be a lot bigger and I've had no vertical spacing and you guys can uh, mess around with those text sizes as well if you want now in the fourth intro you can do a similar thing so I'm just going to select uh, this one and you can change it to be whatever so That'll do, and uh, you can also change, I'm just going to drag this up so it's easier, change the name of the channel as well. And uh, once you've got all of that set up, then you can go ahead and do something with this, because as you can notice in the first time that I did this, uh, I'm just going to select this text again. If you'll notice the first time, I actually changed the horizontal spacing so that it matched the horizontal spacing of the top one. So that's not bad. Uh, you can go ahead and change that even further if you want. Now in the fifth intro here, all you just have to do is, again, it's quite simple, just select the text layer and change the text to be whatever you want to run out of YouTube names. So I'm just going to go for... I've Alright guys, so that's all of the basic text customization done. Now I'm just going to go and show you how to export these with transparency because you'll notice that there's a bunch of transparency here, there's a bunch of transparency in literally every single intro. So uh, to go ahead and export this with transparency, uh, you're going to need to know how to export it as a certain file type that holds transparency. So when you go into your export tab as normal, you don't want to export as MP4 because MP4 doesn't hold transparency. So what you need to do is go into QuickTime, 
if on Windows uh, you don't have QuickTime, you might need to download QuickTime. Just search up for a QuickTime download for Windows. And then in the codec, you're going to go past all of these uh, these ones here. You can choose uncompressed or 4444. Now, uncompressed is like actually just uncompressed uh, files, so it's going to take up a lot of space. But the main thing uh, that we want to do is change it from the color depth to be just RGB to be RGBA. And the A stands for alpha which means the transparency, and this way it'll include the transparency in your video as well. And now we're going to take a little bit of a look as to kind of how I created these intros, uh, as well as some extra customization that you guys can do.